I'm Sarah Backhouse for Future 360. Welcome to the future of farming. We're at Howlings, where tomatoes are grown in 125 acres of greenhouses powered by clean energy. Situated an hour outside Los Angeles in Camarillo, California, Howlings Tomatoes fuses nature with technology to produce millions of tomatoes every year. Leading the company is extreme innovator and CEO Casey Howling. It's one thing to have a well-run company that makes a profit, but it's another thing to do it in as little of an environmental impact and use our resources as efficiently as we possibly can. The company's philosophy is firmly rooted in pragmatism. We do need to use energy and we need to use fertilizer, and we need to use water and raw materials. So what can we do to minimize those uses? It turns out a lot. Renewable energy is produced by five acres of solar PVs. Rainwater is captured and cleaned by a reverse osmosis and recirculated back into the farm. 90% of all waste is recycled. Excess heat is collected from refrigeration and solar thermal and used to heat the greenhouse. And then there's the greenhouse itself, which uses 24 times less land than field farming. But Casey's pursuit of efficiency doesn't end there. When you look at a greenhouse, we use a lot of energy for heat and we use a lot of CO2. And it's kind of frustrating to know that those same two products are the largest waste product produced in America. We ended up buying a uh, cogeneration facility made by GE out of Austria. It's going to reduce our energy costs by a significant portion. This is a 624 gas engine that converts natural gas into three things. Uh, for the greenhouse, it produces power, 4.4 megawatts worth of power. We take the waste heat from the exhaust and the engine oil, and we use that heat for the greenhouse for thermal energy. And the last thing, we trip out the carbon dioxide from the exhaust, and we use as, that as a fertilizer for the greenhouse. The 8.8 .8 megawatts generated can cover the energy needs of the farm. Any excess is fed back into the grid. This engine is the first of its kind in the US. At Howlings, Casey has been able to mine efficiencies above and beyond its original scope. In one of the innovations he did with this particular engine and the cogeneration, I said, you get about 90% efficiency. What he did is he looked at the exhaust and he actually uses latent heat and he captures another extra percentage of, uh, of efficiency. So we're actually touching almost 100%. Theoretically, everybody would say that's not possible, but being an innovator, you're pushing the boundaries. Being a leader in innovation isn't for the faint-hearted. What we have done in our operation is we've put a significant amount of capital at risk by believing in a product and pushing it forward. You've got to have a good cash flow and you've got to have a lot of buy-in from a lot of people to make some of these things happen. The 450 workers at the Camarillo facility share Casey's vision for the future. To be able to power other homes other than just the farm to give energy back to the community is just, I mean, who wouldn't want to be part of a company that was providing such a source of energy? So what drives a businessman to invest more than $35 million to become a clean tech pioneer? I have three daughters and you start looking and say, what kind of world are we going to leave them? And I think that's a great motivational factor to think of what we're doing other than just making money. Bursting with innovation and the passion of its owner, Howling shows what's possible for next generation sustainable farming.